Hey folks, your OS reviews. So just a few days ago, we did a throwback retro review of the BlackBerry uh, Z10 and whether or not it was still worthwhile here in 2017. And we said mostly yes. Afterwards, we were pushed an automatic uh, update to BlackBerry OS 10.3.3, which is the latest firmware release just uh, two months ago. So we wanted to also take a closer look at this new update and what it brings to the Z10 as well as other BlackBerry OS 10 products. So again, this is a fairly new new update that uh, basically rolled out in 2017, and it really changes the feel, I would say, of the Z10's apps. Um, it's more of a superficial update in terms of the visuals and how everything is displayed. You can notice that the icons, instead of being boxy, are now more of this uh, hollow look that is reminiscent of modern iOS and modern Android. So it's a little bit cleaner, and icons are slightly smaller, and text is a bit more crisp. But um, on an older hardware like the Z10, sometimes you will notice a bit more lag. Anyways, let's take a quick look at some of the new features. So generally in the OS, there's landscape everything, which means that regardless of what utility or app that you're in, you can now swap this change the screen orientation in nearly every single uh, view. So for instance, if I'm in the video application, you can see that I can rotate the screen in addition to the other way around without any issues. So this is a bit more flexibility, especially if you're gaming, and it gives you the freedom to kind of choose your screen orientation regardless of what app you're using. Uh, it only doesn't work in the main home screen interface. Other, Other updates including the support for more USB accessories that uh, you can now plug into and will recognize right out of the box. And you can also allow third-party quick settings and possibly charge it's using HDMI as a power input source if you don't want to use micro USB for whatever reason. Um, otherwise, in the other uh, updates are mostly through the default kind of utility programs. So again, we talked about how some of the apps look a little different. One thing is the home screen of uh, kind of open applications will also basically always remain as a page on the home screen now uh, compared to past versions of BlackBerry OS 10 where it only appeared if you had open programs. And an example would be, you know, if I open up the browser and then close it up, only now would it be an open screen, but you can see how in 10.3.3, it's always gonna have this open panel here is the BlackBerry World uh, App Store. You can see it's not bad. Some of the more popular titles, free titles can be found. And the interface, as always, is beautiful. Um, it's just you know not nearly as extensive as something like the Android or iOS store. And um, of course, you, don't, you get a much more limited view. But most of the common apps like Translator for Google, you have, let's say, Messenger for Facebook, have all been ported over. Um, some of them have been done maybe by third-party developers, but it works pretty well. There's even um, specific YouTube sites that it's just YouTube apps that you can use to watch videos. Within the settings, I have the ability to look at the CPU graph and network graph now, in addition to reset, reset core apps uh, without having to restart the entire phone, which is pretty useful. And um, otherwise, there's also real-time voice diction as well, and it kind of improves the voice assistant functionality. And on the home screens, I can now choose an alignment between the apps a bit more easily. You can align them. You can see there's a virtual tab that kind of appears on screen in a... Uh, kind of bar-like interface or way, kind of similar to Android OS that gives you a better idea of where your apps will sit and you know how you want to orient them or kind of delete them uh, or whatnot. So this is a nicer way to resort all of your apps on the home pages. Otherwise, the, again, personal assistant has been updated where you can also play back your playlist just by demanding it through your voice. And the voice is also a bit clean, cleaner sounding, less like a robot. And uh, um, the Android apps, which you can run, can also now support mouses that you might plug into the micro USB port as kind of an OTG port, which is fairly interesting. So it transforms it into kind of a computer-like experience. And uh, in the other apps, such as the camera, Again, some of the basic utilities on here, you'll notice some changes as well to the interface. Not anything huge, but it does make it a bit more cleaner and you have some more options as well. If you guys remember in our previous video, you could only tap and hold to turn on the ability to select you know, the best face or the best shot. But now if you tap on advanced settings, it really gives you a lot more selection options, including swapping the uh, you know, autofocus, the scene selection, turning on flash, the ratio of your photo, you can change HDR mode, timer, even more advanced settings. So it's a bit more optimized and easier to access all these things in addition to capture video directly. So um, it's a little bit faster, more snappy, as well as more complete of a video taking experience and camera taking experience. So um, definitely a good thing there. 
One thing I have noticed and some people have noticed as well is if you have again a lower end hardware, it does tend to run slightly warmer on the back. It's not hot, but um, it seems to definitely raise the temperature a little bit, especially if you're opening uh, tons of different apps. And um, you also will notice the presence of some Amazon apps on the homepage, which I was a little surprised about. It's not uh, native to 10.3.3, but it's native to 10.3. Essentially, uh, BlackBerry signed a deal with Amazon, so now there are some Amazon-specific apps on the uh, BlackBerry OS. So these include access to the uh, Amazon App Store as well as on the regular Amazon mobile uh, web app which you can tap on to access more easier shopping as well as look at your groceries things like that so it's a really tied into amazon's features and ecosystem as well funny enough since the z10 already reminds me of the fire phone in many ways but regardless it's uh might be bloatware to some folks but to others it could be quite useful again most of the other things are superficial so you'll notice that the icons and how they're visualized have been changed but how they function is still mostly consistent so if you open up the browser, you'll still be greeted to the same support for different gestures. You still have access to the same kind of wallpapers that show up as the homepage, same address bar on the bottom here, um, and the same tabs that you can locate just by swiping over. So, um, you know, not too much huge changes, some performance upgrades, slightly snappier when browsing complex web pages, uh, slightly smoother when you are multitasking, but it also seems to drain the battery a little bit faster for some folks. Um, and otherwise, you can see again some apps in terms of how they're displayed have been updated, BlackBerry Ben, BlackBerry Password Keeper, um, but how they function is mostly still consistent. Maps is still going to operate via Bing Maps, but um, you know not anything too much to write home about in that department. You can see the BlackBerry Assistant has also changed its uh, visualization, and some of the other utility apps have slightly tweaked interfaces, but uh, mostly consistent. So overall, I have to say 10.3.3 is kind of an update, I would say, to the original uh, operating system that we saw before on the BlackBerry Z10. With that being said, um, it's not a super necessary one for, for basic use of the device. And in some cases, if you have older hardware, maybe not updating could also benefit you. Battery life seemed to be a little bit better on the original OS. And sometimes I felt it's a occasion get, get a little bit more sluggish when opening up tons of these new apps designed to run better on hardware like the BlackBerry Passport, which is a phone that just came out a year and a half ago compared to something like the Z10, which is a lot older. Um, but otherwise, of course, having these new features and these updates is cool in the sense that BlackBerry is still keeping their promise to update their software alive and support is still alive, which is a huge contrast to devices made by Samsung or by LG. They don't always update their phones with the latest Android OS and some other proprietary operating systems like Firefox uh, that we've seen in the past. So huge props to BlackBerry for this. Um, and for the most part, it remains a pretty compelling interface. And we, we like how it's slightly cleaner looking uh, as far as the design perspective is concerned. You can check out more details in a full list of what's new and changed uh, in our article. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This is a closer look at what's new in BlackBerry OS 10.3.2.